Hi everybody, my name is Luke and what I'm trying to do today is to transform this French bike into an e-bike. It's true that I don't have any suspension, but um, I just added this thing here that I can assure you does a really good job protecting my ass. Uh, I will not do off-road, maybe, <laughs> anyway, that should be enough for me by now. I already removed the, I think it's called derailleur here, the the front one and as you can see there is no cable connected here so uh already did that remove pedals because we will need this because it's not included in the um, e-bike package we will talk about the e-bike later and also about the battery and also because we need to remove the crank because i bought a mid drive e-bike kit that will be sticked here so that crank needs to be removed and then what I, it is what I'm gonna do now. I will try to link the videos that I follow to understand how to do this because I'm new <laughs> in this kind of things. Mm, yeah, I always handle bike but not not this level, okay? This is new for me. Uh, what I realized is that if you want to remove the crank, you first have to remove the pedals. It's easier. And what they don't say uh, in the videos is that a 16 key should be enough to unleash that. In my case, anyway, I don't know. I don't know for you, but a 16 key did the job. No special key needed. That will not be the case for the crank. Here, for the crank, I will need a special tool. I have it, but it will be the first time that I use it, so I try to use it first. I'll let you know later, and okay. I won't lie, it's more difficult than I thought. Uh, I managed to, I don't, I don't know if you see it, okay. I managed to remove the, uh, the little thing here, but it doesn't go away. So even if I have the tool, I need to ask for help. So I'm going to the bike shop near here to see if they can help me remove this thing. So in the end I'm back and the guys from the bike shop did me this great favor. So now the motor should fit without any problem. And this is the masterpiece. So this motor is a Tongsheng motor and actually this kit is, is coming from uh, Shenzhen China it was ordered on eBay uh, it's come in one month maybe yes not so much time uh, those were my previous pedal not included in the kit the kit includes a lot of stuff like the uh, VLCD5 system, the let's call it uh, controller in the interface. Okay, let's say interface of this motor. You can set everything from here. We also have something like um, I don't know if you call this remote. Um, actually, buttons. There are you can link you can or you cannot as you want link to the interface system brakes with brake sensor that must be linked to the motor to say hey I'm braking don't accelerate anymore accelerator that I'm not sure if it's legal or not um, this is to know your speed it should be installed on the back there. This is for the battery. Um, these are the connectors that will be connected here. And this will go into the battery because most of the batteries ends like this. And you will need this. I also have the battery. I have everything. And I will start now. And uh, probably I will count myself just to see how much time I need to mount all this stuff. What I want, I will not mount this, nor this, nor this for now, and neither this. So, oops. Those components will need the new handlebar. 
since I didn't receive it yet, those will be mounted one day maybe. So, aside. Oops. We put them aside here. Uh, no, this this should I mount it, I'll mount this now. Okay. Let's start from the motor. So by now the motor fix very well. Um, yeah, what I'm doing now is putting the cables where they're meant to be. What I need to say before anything is that to mount this thing there are a lot of videos online. Even from sh um, the, the company name, how it's called, um, um, Tongsheng that explains everything about how this should be mounted. I will link it to you so you can see everything there. But I want I even want to do something proper, something that is clean, a good cable system. So what I need to do now is to lock this thing and then we can mount those pieces that will allow me to put back the levers and the pedals but seems very very fine very very good it looks very good battery will be here okay let's move on and here we are after one hour of uh, pure mechanics I put the chain back Mounted the pedals, mounted the lever. The motor is quite firmly on top of it. Now, there's only one thing that is missing, the battery. And now it's time for the battery. After that, I think I will mount this guy here, the interface for this bike. And this is the battery, um, 36 volt, 15.6 uh, ampere hour uh, I don't know uh, do the math and it will be something more than 500 watt per hour and this is the back uh, the, the contact pins this is the lock uh, there is a lot of battery like this on the internet especially on eBay and that's the, the lock, the dock, how do you want to call it. I will mount this like this. If I wanted to mount it this way, I won't be able to extract, extract the battery. So the only solution is to mount it like this. Um, that should be it. Um, here, I removed the... where is it? Oh, there it is. I want to cut here and replace those cuts with um, the proper one that comes with the kit. That is this one. In this way, link it like this. I will be able to use this one to connect to the motor. Easy peasy. Guys, this thing is working. The battery is connected. I even linked the speed sensor. I just connected the interface just to know if it's actually communicating in some way. And this is the accelerator. Let's accelerate, shall we? I might say that even with the motor shut it down, you can easily go around with the bike. It's not so heavy. Anyway, it's well balanced. So you don't feel the heavy battery nor the motor. It's okay. Then let's say 
we put a little bit of Jewish white. If you stay on the fourth gear and you keep pedaling or accelerating or whatever, you won't reach the max speed. But it's good enough to start without forcing too much the motor. That's it. That's okay. You can push it up and that's it. 34. Now it's 31, 32. I mean, I tested max speed 35 with uh, my legs. Just the accelerator is 32. Yeah, you see? 32 max with accelerator. But if I max this speed up and start pedaling, See this, 38, 37, good enough, right? That's what I wanted to test. Here we go, 38. Good enough for me. Let's say this kit is really enjoyable. <laughs> 